Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Mike and today I'm going to show you how to back up your files onto either a USB thumb drive or a blank CD. Uh, the reason we're going to be doing this before uh, summer starts is because during the summer uh, the MPUSD IT department is going to come down and add all the computers at the school to the domain. Now what this means is some of the computers are going to have to be re-imaged and that's going to delete everything off of the computer and it's going to be as if it's brand new with none of your content on it. So we need to make sure that if we have important documents and files and you know audio or books or anything on there that we need to back up, uh, we're going to have a copy of that so that when the new school year starts we can just put it right back on the computer and continue as if you know nothing happened. Um, so first off I'm going to show you how to use the USB thumb drive to back up your files and after that I'll show you how to do it on the CD. It's pretty similar, there are a few differences but, um, but it's pretty simple. So first we're going to start off with the thumb drive. I'm just going to plug that in and you should see an auto play menu just like this pop up and you'll see open folder to view files. You can ignore all the other options and just click on open folder to view files and that's going to bring up this window right here. Now if this doesn't come up, uh, don't worry, a lot of computers um, have autoplay turned off. So we can just, um, if it doesn't come up, click on the start menu and find computer or my computer and click right there and you'll see a removable disk and that's our thumb drive. Uh, yours might not be called removable disk, most are, but depending on the brand you might see store and go or, or some other name like that, but it, it's going to look like this. So go ahead and open that up. And we'll see here we have a, the same folder we had when we used the autoplay menu. So from here, we're just going to right click and make a new folder because we want to be organized and keep everything um, nice and neat so that when we come back, we know exactly where everything goes. And we're going to want to back up first our desktop. And that's all of these files over here that are visible right when you turn on the computer. And we also want to back up our documents folder. So I'm going to make another folder and call it Documents. All right, uh, most of our files will be on the desktop or in the Documents folder. If you know of any other files that you need backed up that aren't in those, you can go ahead and add those in as well. Uh, but that's kind of on a as-needed basis. I usually just do the desktop and the Documents because that's where most of my stuff is saved. So uh, first we're going to do the desktop. So we just open up the desktop and we're going to click on any files we want to back up. Uh, like if we want this one backed up and these ones over here, uh, we can just highlight them like so and drag them in. Uh, you're not going to want to back up the recycle bin, um, any computer icon, or shortcuts because shortcuts aren't going to really work on a new computer if all the applications are in new spots. So we can ignore the shortcuts really. Um, we're going to highlight what we want to drop in and all we're going to do is drag it over here and it's going to start backing up. Now I'm going to cancel this because I don't actually want to back up all that and wait until this is done. Um, but that will show you how to get them in there. And you can highlight any more files you want to drop in and go ahead and drag that in as well. If you want to highlight multiple files at a time, you can hold down control and click on each one individually. That way you can skip a few if you want to or uncheck them without unchecking all of them at once and do it that way as well. That works just fine. So we're going to go ahead and erase these and because um, I don't actually want to back them up. I just want to show you how to back them up. All right, so delete these items. If you don't want to drag, because it can be uh, tricky sometimes if you let go at the wrong time, you could copy it and make duplicates and all that stuff. It gets kind of messy. Um, what we can actually do is we can right click after we've highlighted them all and choose copy. And then over here in the thumb drive, we can right click and choose paste. And now you see it's doing the exact same thing it was doing before, and it's copying them in just like we want it to. So I'm going to cancel that again because, I, again, I don't want to actually back them up. I'm going to delete that. <coughs> Alright, now right up here, you'll see the removable disk or store and go, depending on what yours is called. Click that, and you will see the two folders we have again. Now we're going to back up the Documents folder. So we open up the Documents folder, drag this over to the side just so we have a little bit more room to work. And to get to the Documents folder, you're going to click on the Start menu and click on Documents. And here's all of our files uh, that we have in our documents. I don't have too much in this because this is a new computer. Well, 
a new OS and I haven't really done too much on it. So um, I just have this that I want to back up. So I'll go ahead and do the same thing I did before. I'm going to drag this over here and it's backed up. And again, you can also right click, choose copy, then over here, right click and choose paste. Right. So that's how you pretty much how you back up your files. Um, at this point, we're done unless you know of any other places where you might have files that you want backed up. You can um, go into your pictures or music folder if you'd like and back those up as well if you have anything there. And um, that's about it. Once you have all your files backed up, you can remove the thumb drive um, by clicking on this little arrow down here and clicking on safely remove hardware and ejecting the mass storage device. Now what that does is it safely removes the thumb drive that way when you pull it out it's not in the middle of something and kind of messes everything up so uh, you always want to safely remove before you pull a thumb drive out just in case. Alright so that's it the thumb drive is done. Now if you don't have a thumb drive um, I do have some blank CDs we can use. I don't have blank DVDs but I do have blank CDs so what we're gonna do is just put this into this uh, CD burner and I'll do that now. This is going to take a little bit longer to show up than a uh, thumb drive would because it has to format the CD and it has to read it and all that stuff. It's just a little bit of a slower type of media. So give it a few minutes and, and it'll pop up just like a thumb drive did. And here it is. So we see autoplay came up just like with a thumb drive. And we have a few different options, but they're kind of the same um, as the thumb drive one. We don't want to burn an audio CD, and we don't want to create a CD using iTunes. Uh, we want to use Windows Explorer and burn the files to the disk. So we're going to click on that one right here. And we want to use it like a USB flash drive. And uh, the date will be the default disk title. I like to leave that there just in case um, I have multiple backups. I know which one's the newest. So we're going to leave the date there and choose like a USB flash drive. We don't want to write... Um, to have it with a CD or DVD player because it's not really going to be audio or video content it's, it's going to be files so we click on like a USB flash drive and click next and it's going to start formatting the CD for use so this will take a while so um, I'm going to go ahead and cut the video and we'll come back when it's done alright so that took about a minute and um, now that it's done formatting, we see that we have a, a DVD RW drive, and um, the CD in that drive is called June 5th, 2013, which is today's date. And um, we have the same option that we had with the USB drive. We're going to open folder to view files. All right, so here's the folder, and we're going to do exactly what we did with the USB thumb drive, except on the CD. We're going to click on new, make a new folder, call it desktop. And everything you do on here is going to take a little bit longer because it's actually burning to a CD instead of um, a flash drive, which is much faster. So um, you might have to have a little bit more patience um, when you're doing a CD. And then we're going to name this one Documents. Alright, so now we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to go to the desktop, drag in whatever we want to back up on the desktop. Okay, I'm going to cancel this and then we're going to go to the documents and you're not going to want to cancel on yours you're actually going to want to let it go through I'm just canceling because um, of time constraints so we go up here and go to documents and we're going to drag in our document and whatever else you want to back up you can drag in there as well um, CDs have about 700 megabytes of space and it'll tell you if you're using up too much space so you might have to separate it under two DVDs if, um, or two CDs I should say All right. So once your CD is done, once it has all the files you want backed up, you're going to click on Close Session up here, and that's going to let um, the CD be used on other computers, which is important because your computer that you're using um, is going to be like new when you come back in the school year. So um, it's not going to read a standard CD that you burned without closing the session. So don't forget to click Close Session before your um, before you leave for the summer. So click on close session and we'll see down here it's closing. This will take a little bit, not too long. Um, unless you have a lot of files then it will take a long time. Uh, this one shouldn't take too long because I only put like two things on there. 
All right, so that took about a minute, and it says the disk is ready. It's now ready to be used on other computers. And at this point, all you have to do is really click eject or click on the eject button on the computer itself, and you're all set. You have your backup. Um, I would label it, you know, maybe with a Sharpie or something, just to make sure you don't um, forget what's on it or lose a CD. Uh, but that's about it. Um, we have a CD that's been burned uh, with all of our data and we have a USB flash drive which has all our data on it and if you do both that's even better because then if you lose one you have the other or if the CD gets scratched you have a thumb drive so um, you know it's always better to have too many backups than not enough uh, but uh, I hope this helped you out and shows you kind of how to use um, thumb drives and CDs to back up your files and if you need any help be sure to let me know uh, I'd be more than happy to come down and, and show you how to do this again uh, if you don't have a flash drive, uh, you can ask me, and I have some um, blank CDs that I can let you use. So no worries there, we have plenty uh, to go around. So make sure you back up all of your data before summer, because again, they will be coming and they will be re-imaging many of the computers. And you don't want to take that risk just in case they re-image yours and you know, your years of work are going to be gone. So I hope this helped, and I hope all of you have a great summer. And thanks for watching. Peace.